Hi everyone, this is Sam from the City of Hamilton's Recreation Division. I know we're all playing our role by practicing physical distancing, but in the spirit of trying to stay physically active and having some fun at home, I've gathered some friends to help give you some new ideas to try out. Frosty Fun Virtual Programs are presented by the City of Hamilton to help keep you entertained, engaged, and active during the pandemic. For more information and updates, visit the website. Hi, I'm Dorothy. I'm here to teach you. I'm a recreation coordinator for the City of Hamilton. I'm going to teach you how to make one of these um, dishcloths. They're really, really simple to make and they're easy, quick, um, machine washable, and the little pearl bumps are just enough scrubby to get things, everything clean. All right, what we will end up needing for this project is needles, and these are knitting needles size seven or 4.5 millimeters. We need cotton, and this is worsened weight, cotton yarn, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle for the very end. Knit one, yarn over, and continue knitting. So this is how you cast off. You're gonna knit a stitch onto the needle, knit another stitch onto the needle, work over that first stitch and knit it off of the needle. So now you have two, one stitch on, left on the needle. You knit, knit over the other one. So now that, you can see how it's finished off there. You knit, knit over what you just knitted and then you knit, and then you knit over what you just knitted, and then you pull it through. So with this cloth, as you can see, we've um, knit, I've knitted um, this piece on the bias, and what that means is that I've started at the very bottom, I've worked my way up, and I've increased to the center and then I started decreasing. You can see that there's little holes around here and I'll explain that in the pattern that these are yarn overs. If I hold it up like this then you can see the little holes and that just gives it a little bit of um, flair and it doesn't just look like I've just knitted something. All right, now to get started we have to do a slip knot. So basically you're holding the yarn like this you slip it through, you pull it, and then pull it tight. Now, with one needle, I'm going to slip it on. This is my tail, so I'm just gonna keep it secure and tighten. So, now I have to make more stitches, and I'm only doing four. So there's one, two, oops, oops. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't, my fingers don't want to cooperate. 
I only have one more stitch to do. There we go. All right, so now I have four stitches on the needle. I'm going to knit those. So I have to back up a little bit because the table's in my way. And you just knit to the very end. I have to move back a bit. So I have my four stitches on that I've just knitted. Now I'm going to start with the pattern. Now the pattern, you're going to knit two stitches and then do a yarn over it. What that means is that I'm moving the yarn forward and it's in front instead of at the back. I knit normally, so I have an increase one stitch. So I have four stitches on and now I'm gonna just knit to the end of the row. I'll do that again, so you can see. So you knit one, two, oops, I grabbed the wrong part of the needle. There we go, the stitch, there we go. And then yarn over, knit to the end of the row. One more time, just to make sure that and you can see that there's a little bit of a hole that's there. That was the yarn over to make these holes along the edge. Let's do that again. Knit one. Knit two. Yarn over. Knit to the end of the row. And you'd continue that until you end up getting 50 stitches, and we'll come back to here, 50 stitches on the needle. If you want a bigger cloth, 50 stitches is great. If you want a smaller cloth, then 44 stitches. You'd end up stopping um, like, to make it a little bit smaller. But I like the bigger cloths, so we went with 50 stitches. So I'm gonna do one more row of these. So that was knit one, knit two, yarn over, knit to the end of the row. And as I mentioned before, to 50 stitches on the needle. Oops, there we go. So you can see the V starting, as we mentioned before, and if we take a look at this, the V, but I want to make sure I can finish this project. So I am bringing what I've already worked on and I'm gonna show the decrease. So I've knitted all these rows and now I'm gonna do the decrease. So that's a little different. So you would knit one knit two together because you want to decrease. You still need the hole, so you have to do the yarn over. And then, sorry, you knit two again together. And then knit to the end of the row. You're gonna do that until you get four stitches left on your needle. So let's try again. You knit one stitch, two together, yarn over, two together. If I can get my needle in there. Struggling, there we go. And then knit to the end of the row. So I have two, four, six, and then we want four, so I'm only gonna do two more rows, and then I can show you. Oops, I made a little bit of a mess there. I'll fix that. There we go. It's kind of nice that I could see the blue from the white, so I knew I made a mistake. There we go. Knit one, knit two together, yarn over, 
knit two together. That's where I was struggling before. I guess I'm going a little tight. There we go. And then to the end of the row. One more, and then I'll show you how to complete it. You knit one. Knit two together. Yarn over. And then two together. is two stitches here, so there's four stitches left on the needle. There we go. Now we can see them. Perfect. Now, turn it over again, and I'm going to knit all four off at one time. This is exciting. Oops, <laughs> if I can get that. There we go. There. So I'm going to pull that and take it off my needle my handy scissors, cut at that end. So now it's finished. Now you can see, I'll move some of my things away, that the shape is not square, it's a little wonky. So why and how that happened is that when you're knitting, all this is being weighed down by um, your stitches. So I'll fix that later. What I'm worried about right now is finishing off the ends. How you would end up doing that is you would separate um, the two ends like this because you want to finish off your piece and not lose any stitches. So now you would grab the tapestry needle Feed it through, like so. And you can see how there's a little bit of a gap here. I don't like that. So I'm going to fix it by going up this way. So now it's a little finished off. Tie this, really easy. Tie this in a knot super tight. Do it again. So it's a double knot and then that end is done. Okay, let's try this side. This, is a, this tail's a little long, so we'll cut it. Leave, uh, undo these a little bit. Great. And you can see that these were the four last stitches, so I'm going to go in this direction with my needle and weave that through. Tie this in a knot really tight and do it again. And get my scissors. Cut it short. Okay, perfect. But the shape's a little wonky, like I mentioned. What you would end up doing to fix that is you would put it in the washing machine, just like this, and then later on, when it's drying, you'd lay it down flat to dry. You would pin it with pins, or you could try to reshape it with your hands so that it turns into a nice shape and square again. And there you have it. So now we've completed our dishcloth and it was pretty simple and easy and I've given you all the steps that you needed. Um, there will also be um, a pattern for you to see. So if any of this is confusing, then hopefully the pattern can spell it out for you. So happy knitting.
Thanks for joining us. Did we talk too fast? Did you miss a step? Do you want to watch this video again? Our pre-recorded series allows you to watch this video as many times as you need to make sure that you got it right. To learn more, visit hamilton.ca slash frostyfun.